is Shane Arbor. How are you? Good. How long have you been wrestling with uh, Top Rope? I've been wrestling for Top Rope since about 2004. 2004? Yeah, 2004. Uh, cool. Um, do you know Maybe tonight? I don't know who it's going to be, but it really doesn't matter to me because I always come in focused and I always come in to win. Ah, oh, so, so how do you mentally prepare for a match? Um, I don't know. I just try to relax and I, I, you know, I used to get nervous, but I've been doing this so long and, you know, I'm confident in my ability, so I don't really worry anymore. I just go in and I do what I do best. Oh. So, uh, where are you originally from? Because I know you travel in a little ways. Um, I'm from upstate New York. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, upstate New York. Jeez, another upstate New York guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, where did you wrestle before Top Rope? Uh, I've been wrestling all over the Northeast. I've been as far as California, Florida. But uh, I usually I usually keep it in New England. I, I, I like where I'm from, and this is where I wrestle. Wow. <laughs> so, you're pretty much just, you just pretty much focus on whoever you're up against. So what would you, how would you feel differently from one person to the next person? Well, it depends. If it's a bigger guy and, you know, if I'm wrestling a, a real wrestling match, then I, I'm confident in my wrestling ability. If it's a bigger guy or somebody I have to fight, then I'll go in and fight. My, my game plan is to win. Yep. That's cool. Well, good, good luck tonight. Hope you win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, what's your name? Marshall McNeil. Marshall McNeil, hi. How long have you been a manager for? I've been, I've been managing for about five years now. Have you? Uh, yes. When, yep. when did you get interested in being a manager? Uh, 2006 of August, I started. I started, I, my first, the first time I managed anyone, I, uh, his name was Kevin Landry, uh, for a promotion NECW, which I don't think is around anymore. Sheldon Goldberg was a promoter out of Massachusetts. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. Okay, who do you manage now? Now I manage Brutal Bob Evans. He'll be here tonight. He's not here right yet. He's running a little late, but he'll be here. Trust me. Trust me on that. <laughs> Brutal Bob? Yes. So how long have you been working with uh, Brutal Bob? I've, I've been working with him for uh, maybe about a year now. He's one of, one of the top guys in the area, that's for sure. He certainly knows, knows his stuff. He's a veteran. And uh, now, now you can see him on Ring of Honor Television managing uh, the, uh, the prodigy, Mike Bennett. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long have you been doing that? Has he been managing? Yeah. I just, I think he's just he's gonna be starting. Uh, just, just this past week, I think they started. Yep. So uh, big things are happening for both Bob and Mike Bennett. You know. Absolutely. It's uh, beginning of Boston and that from the bottom. No, I think, I think he's just, I think he's just there to support Mike Bennett. You know. But no better person. I mean, he trained Mike Bennett. Uh, no better person to have in his corner. Uh, certainly Mike Bennett too. He's one of the best in, in New England. You know. So you know, good, good, good combination right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So has he ever worked with Mike Bennett before, other than just training with him? Has he ever like a, a personal friendship with him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob and Bob and Mike Bennett, they've been they've been close for quite a few years now. So, so, but uh, yeah, good things are happening for those two guys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. So, okay. So how do you, how do you prepare your man for a battle? Going into a battle? Oh well, you know, there's a lot there's a lot to, to that you have to take into consideration. My guys, they train all the time you know they're always eating right they're always in the ring getting down what they got to do but the biggest factor is the money i slip a little bit more to my guys they perform a little bit better <laughs> you know what i'm saying i can give you a few bucks maybe you'll perform a little bit better huh? hey, it's all about the money yeah well here's a couple bucks here you go here you go go ahead no, i wouldn't give it yeah. to you in a heartbeat <laughs> <I know. laughs> so i think it's you uh, kind of a comedian too with what you do well you know my mother says i'm funny you are actually pretty fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm, looking, I'm actually looking forward, you know, to a good show tonight. Yeah. So how, how do you think your guy's going to do it tonight? Then? Oh, well, that, that's, that's no question. Yeah, He's going up a guy uh, by the name of Jay Freddy. And uh, Jay Freddy out of New York, he's, he, he's, a, he's a heck of a competitor. You know, Bob's going to have his hands full tonight, I think. But in the end, brutal Bob's going to show why he is the most brutal of them all. So how many times has he actually been there? Because this is the, actually, I think, the first time he's ever been up here on Adams. That Brutal Bob has? Yeah. That Brutal Bob? I, I know. Uh, Jay Freddy? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if, if Jay Freddy's been up here before. Bob, uh, he must have, Bob's been around for a long time. He's been all over New England for about 15 years now. So he must have, he must have wrestled here once before, at least. Uh, Maybe once or twice. Well. Yeah. But, since, but since I started managing him, this is the first time me and him have been together in this building. That's cool. Yes. Well, good luck tonight. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? 
Zach. Zach, how you doing? Good. Um, how long have you been a wrestler for? I'm a referee. You're a referee? Start over, start over, start over. I'm a referee. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, Zach? My name's Wayne. Hi, man. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. Uh, so what, what do you do as a profession? I'm a referee for Top Row Promotions here in Turn Hall uh, in North Adams, Massachusetts. How long have you been rapping for? Eight years. Eight years? Where did you uh, where did you originally start rapping before this? Uh, I originally started with Top Row back when I was 16 years old. Oh, did you? So, yes. you, so you've been here for quite some time? Yes, I have been. We've been coming up here for about five years, six years now. Interesting. So, um... In your thing, how how many great matches would you say you've called? I mean, wow, there's too many that stand out to name right now. Uh, I, I you know. mean, uh, okay, how, what is your most memorable match that you remember calling? Oh uh, shit, this is Terry Funk. I can't swear. We gotta cut it's that all right, out. I'll cut it. All right, uh, it's Terry Funk. Uh, I refereed uh, Brother Rotten Abyss, top rope for uh, down at Fall River. There's mm -hmm. been too many to call. So you'd say you'd be, you know, you kind of friendly with some of these wrestlers? And yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, you gotta maintain law and order, but you know, uh, I refereed uh, Brother Rotten Abyss, top rope for uh, down at Fall River. It's mm -hmm. been too many to call. So you'd say you'd be, you know, you kind of friendly with some of these wrestlers? And yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, you gotta maintain law and order, but you know, I try to keep it fair right down the middle. That's cool. Uh, so, what originally made you want to become a referee? What was your. Just a family viewer growing up, you know, just wanted to get involved. You know, I just want to thank all you fans up here in Adams Mass who come out and watch the show. Keep tuning in to their show, NBC 10, Channel 15, Top Row Promotions. We're here tonight. I want to say happy holidays, and we'll see you guys soon. See you guys in 2011. Happy holidays and happy new year. This is Zach. Coming to NBC 10. Ooh, did you, just, did you just feel that? I felt something. I'll tell you what. This is referee Zach Carter from Top Row Promotions. Every time I'm up here in the Berkshires from Turn Hall, and we come up here, we tune into NBC 15, and we tune into MHPRG Ghost Hunters, and we check out that show because we want to know what's paranormal going on up here in the Berkshires. Hi, I'm here uh, with Top Row Promotion. I'm here with uh, Vinny Marsala and uh, Matt Tavern. Taven. 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 Uh, I got a question. How long have the two of you been uh, in Top Row Promotions? Top Row Promotions, I've actually been in Top Row for. Uh, Gee, this month will be two years exactly I've been wrestling for Top Rope. So I've made it out here to Adams four or five times at least. So, Vinny? And I've been around here for about a year. Yep. So, okay, how did the two of you prepare for that? I mean, mentally and physically, how did you prepare for that? Uh, it would be a lot of working out. Absolutely. Um, I don't know, man. That's what you mean. You know, we just stay, stay focused in, you know, in the gym and all the guys here. So. I personally, um, I get prepared for a match at uh, many different levels. I, I do uh, have some hot yoga. Definitely do some hot yoga. I eat, um, I eat a meal that I always eat that's a secret before every match. I'll tell you what. I shave my entire body, head to toe. And then I perm my hair. And now I'm here. Oh, yeah, go Tammy. Yeah. So what would you say your toughest opponents have been since you've been wrestling? My toughest opponent in the promotion itself? Yes. Probably Tommaso Chandler so far. Okay, who's that? Um, I, I don't think he's ever been here, um, but he's, he's, he's out of uh, our home, PAL and Paul River, man. Uh, but I'd say Tommaso is probably the toughest opponent I've had in this I would say uh, Mike Bennett would have to be up there, BK Jordan, and uh, Vinny himself. He and Vinny have had a chance to wrestle with one another. And that kid's good. Not good as me. Pretty good. I think you both are pretty good. You both are pretty good at the paddle. I mean, I didn't watch it. Studying the kids. Got it all. I just studied the same kids recently, I actually got. So, so tonight, what are, what are you thinking about before you match tonight since you really you're going up again? Tonight, let's see, tonight I have Vince Beach and the two Alden brothers at a fatal four-way. Pretty much what I'm thinking about is uh, letting them hurt each other and then me coming in and, and looking good and getting fit. Back to you, Vinny. Uh, tonight I got two tough opponents, Matt Magnum and Ryan Waters. So uh, after we on A game, Definitely tonight's match. I do also have ice effects on my corner with me. Uh, but like I said, two tough guys on the corner of the ring, so I guess I can be on game game. Well, I 
I just want to thank the two of you for your time. And good luck. How you doing? Okay. I'm here with uh, W. I'm here with Legend uh, Art Baker. Uh, I have a few questions. How long have you been prospering? Wait a minute, folks. I want to tell you one thing. If you would invite me over to your house, you better be have channel 15 on. I'll throw you and the TV right out there. Because you got to watch channel 15, because that's where you're going to see Oxbeck. That's where you're going to see Wayne. You got a question for me, Wayne? How long have you been last time? You know, Wayne, I've been beating people up for 40 years. You know, some guys say matches. Some guys save coins, but I like to knock somebody down and then kick them right in the face. Because what I've said before, you got to watch Channel 15 if you want to watch the best there is. When I knock somebody down, I love to kick them in the face. Because one thing I've done, and I do it very well, I love to hurt. Go away. What do you got, Wayne? Talk to me, baby. <laughs> so what do you like to do in your spare time and not beat people up? You know, all I can tell your mothers out there, if you ever invite me over to your house, you turn channel 15 on, I want a big cup of coffee and a peanut butter cookies. Because I love peanut butter. Don't have on channel 12, channel 5. I want channel 15. Is that the right channel, Wayne? Yes. Speak up, Wayne. What do you need, brother? Talk to me. Is that it? When did you start to, when did you start to wrestle? 40 years ago. Who was your first opponent? My first opponent was a great wrestler called Pat O'Connor. He was a world champion. I went 13 minutes. He finally rolled me up one, two, three, and I said, you might do it this time. You better be watching 15 when I'm at your house. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're sleeping with your cousin, your mother, or whatever. Be watching channel 15, because that's what I watch when I'm in Adams. Is it Adams? Yeah. When I'm in Adams, Massachusetts, that's the channel I want. It's channel two. Look here. I hate it when guys in a room are more ugly than I am, but it's all right. We've got a great match and match tonight. And remember, watch channel 15 or else. What do you think of happening? The last guy had a different channel. I got him right by the throat. I jumped him right down. Watch channel 15. That's the channel. What other question you got there, Wayne? Speak up. Okay, I just want to thank you for your time. Thank, thank you very much. Thank Make you. sure you watch Channel 15 or you could get hurt. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that was it.